the James Webb Telescope has just revealed the clearest image of Proxima b in history, uncovering astonishing details about this potentially habitable exoplanet. Join us as we journey through space to explore the mysteries of Proxima b and determine if it could be Earth's next home. Let's embark on this exciting adventure to the distant exoplanet. In the vastness of space lies a mysterious planet nestled in a habitable zone of its star, Chima Center. This planet isn't just any ordinary rock. It's Earth's cousin, Proxima Center b, located just 42 light-years away. This planet is cloaked in mystery and wonder. Could it be another Earth with oceans and life flourishing on its surface? But wait, there's more. Proxima Center b isn't alone in its journey around the Red Dwarf Star. It has a companion, the Super Proxima Center SE. Who knows what other secrets this star system holds, perhaps another companion yet to be discovered. The mysteries continue. Proxima Center b receives nearly the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Could this mean there's water, perhaps even life, on its surface? As we venture beyond our solar system, we encounter a multitude of exoplanets orbiting stars other than the Sun. With over 206 trillion stars in the universe, the possibilities are endless. Some exoplanets even roam freely, untethered to any star, like rogue travelers in space. Yet, among them all, Proxima Center b stands out as a truly remarkable and enigmatic planet. With a year lasting just 112 Earth days and a distance from its star 20 times closer than Earth is to the Sun, one side of the planet is likely always bathed in daylight while the other remains in perpetual darkness. Let's delve into Proxima Center b's host star. Orbiting the red dwarf Proxima Center, it forms part of the Alpha Center triple star system. This system comprises Rigel Centaurus or Center A, Ptolemon or Center B, and Proxima Centauri or Center SE, making it the nearest star system to our own solar system. Rigel Centaurus and Ptolemon form the binary known as Alpha Center AB, appearing as one star in the constellation of Centaurus and ranking as the third brightest star in our night sky. Now focusing on Proxima Center, also known as Alpha Center C, this red dwarf or M-type star lies 21 light-years away from the other two stars, approximately 13,000 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. Interestingly, it's technically the nearest star to us. Discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Innes, Proxima Center translates to the nearest star of Centaurus in Latin. Despite being our closest stellar neighbor, Proxima Center isn't visible to the naked eye, with an apparent magnitude far greater than the human eye's limit. However, it remains a star worth marveling at. Red dwarf stars like Proxima Center are highly efficient in terms of energy production, glowing steadily for trillions of years due to internal convection processes at their core. Yet, the habitability of a red dwarf star like Proxima Center remains debatable. As a flare star, it experiences frequent and unpredictable fluctuations, and its habitable zone is closer to it than the sun's. Despite seeming promising, Proxima b is bombarded by extreme ultraviolet radiation from its star, hundreds of times stronger than what we receive from the sun. This intense radiation poses challenges to the planet's habitability, destroying even the lightest molecules of hydrogen, let alone nitrogen and oxygen. But that's not all. Just because a planet is at the right distance from its star doesn't mean it can support life. Proxima b might lack a suitable atmosphere essential for regulating climate and supporting a water-friendly surface. Without it, living organisms would be vulnerable to dangerous space weather, making life nearly impossible. So, while Proxima b may resemble Earth on the surface, it's far from being able to support life. Despite numerous factors rendering it uninhabitable, the quest to uncover the truth about Proxima b continues, and some people still hold hope. One instrument capturing astronomers' attention is the James Webb Telescope. After numerous delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018, set to determine whether life exists on Proxima b. In science, things are rarely straightforward. Many modifications were required to ensure the James Webb Telescope produced accurate images. As Avi Loeb, a theoretical physicist at Harvard, explains, if a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, it can also re-emit it as infrared light. 
The telescope was specifically designed to observe infrared light, potentially revealing water or an atmosphere on the planet's surface. However, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee life, warns Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University. Proxima b could resemble Venus, with a thick atmosphere unsuitable for life due to extreme heat. The quest to unravel Proxima b's mysteries faces challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise, mounting costs pose obstacles. Astronomers are striving to find ways to observe planets like Proxima b, acknowledging the risks involved but driven by the potential rewards. Hypothetically, if Proxima b were hospitable, could we go there? As the closest exoplanet to us, it presents an exciting opportunity for exploration, akin to peering into our cosmic backyard. Its Earth-like size and location in the habitable zone make it a prime candidate for future interstellar missions. Despite the challenges, solutions are proposed, such as solar sails, which could accelerate spacecraft, approaching Proxima Center within a reasonable time frame. This technology offers hope for reaching Proxima b and ignites humanity's fascination with space exploration. The James Webb Telescope, a marvel of modern technology, has the power to unveil the universe's secrets, potentially shedding light on the possibility of life on planets like Proxima b. However, it also has limitations. For instance, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't guarantee habitability, and the telescope can detect only significant illumination. On exoplanets like Proxima b, 5% may not sound significant, but when dealing with a star that's 20,000 times dimmer than our own sun, it's a big deal. If Proxima b hosts an intelligent civilization, they might use bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from the day side to the night side, an intriguing possibility. Moving on to other exoplanets, there's a vast array awaiting discovery in our universe. Gas giants akin to Jupiter and Saturn, but much larger, are one category that astronomers study. Some are dubbed super-Jupiters, towering over even our solar system's largest planet. Then there are hot Jupiters, which orbit extremely close to their host stars, existing in fiery worlds with temperatures capable of melting metal. Neptunian exoplanets, similar in size to Uranus and Neptune, add to the diversity. Hot Neptunes and mini-Neptunes, smaller and closer to their host stars, pose mysteries with their challenging atmospheres to study from afar. Terrestrial exoplanets, resembling Earth, vary in size from smaller to double its radius, including super-Earths with masses exceeding Earth's but lighter than Neptune. Proxima Center b stands out as a super-Earth, though not within the habitable zone due to its proximity to its host star. It has a companion, Proxima Center se, possibly featuring a bright ring system. In 2019, Astronomers detected a change in Proxima Center's radial velocity, hinting at another planetary partner, possibly Proxima Center d, similar in size to Mercury or Mars. Exoplanets are challenging to observe, often obscured by their host star's glare. Advancements in technology allow for direct imaging, providing insights into their characteristics and composition. Commonly, Exoplanets are discovered through radial velocity variations caused by their gravitational influence on their host stars or via the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light as an exoplanet passes in front of it. Despite the challenges, the universe's abundance of exoplanets promises ongoing excitement and discovery for astronomers, fueling our curiosity about the cosmos.